Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So I wanted to talk to you guys about free will because a lot of the times when people really resonate and connect with the information that I share, they always ask like, so what, we don't have free will in the sense that Say, for example, you listen to my birthday video and you find that it is spot on. It is so spot on. It is scary, you know, because it goes against everything that you've been conditioned. Um, it goes against your conditionings. And you'll say, so where's my free will? This means that I'm destined to just be this way or I'm destined to just be that way. I have no choice in this. Um, no, that's not how it works. You absolutely do have a choice in it. And what numerology and astrology has taught me is that within all of us, it's like, say, for example, we are living, living in a virtual reality. And when you look at a computer screen on one end, the end that we all, most of us look at, we're seeing the images, the colors, the lights, and everything that's shiny and great. But on the other end, the programmer is seeing all of the numbers and the codes and the combination of the numbers and codes. So within all of us as, you know, humans, we all have these codings, these programmings within us. And the programmings within us pretty much tells like, you know, what our program will be like. It's like when you turn on a TV program, you know what to expect in that program. So based on our, you know, our natal chart placements and the numbers within our birthday, you can get an idea of what our internal program is. And with it, when it comes to our internal programming, there's high vibration and low vibration. And with high, like high vibration and low vibration, there's good and bad in everything, you know, and what I find helpful when it comes to learning about numerology and astrology is that I get to become aware of the internal programmings that's happening within me and free will comes from awareness. So yes, we do have free will. But if a person lacks awareness, they lack free will. So if you lack awareness, you lack free will in the sense that you are being moved by these programmings that's happening within you. And you don't, it's like you, you have no control because it's like default. You're just going along and don't even notice that you're doing it until after you keep asking yourself, why does the same thing keep happening to me over and over and over again? And free will steps in with awareness in the sense that once we become aware of our strengths and our weaknesses, like, like this quote that I have, once you, when, when, when you are aware of your strengths, when you are aware of your weaknesses, no one can use them against you. When you are aware of your strengths, you are unstoppable. Self-awareness is a superpower. Again, when you're aware of your weaknesses, no one can use them against you. When you are aware of your strengths, you are unstoppable. Self-awareness is a superpower. So with me being self-aware and becoming aware of the neg the lower vibrations of myself, like the lower characteristics that come that exist within me, that's existing within everyone. And I'm aware of the positive ones, like no one can use my weaknesses against me because I know what they are. You know what I mean? And when I know what my strengths are, I am unstoppable. I get to live life according to my own terms. So yeah, free will comes from your awareness, you being aware. 
you know, you being aware of yourself. And then how do you take, how do you, how does this all come together and work now? So being a witness is extremely important. And this is where like fasting over time has helped me to become a good witness of myself where first you want to become a witness of your breath, your breathing, become such a good witness to where you are able to witness your thoughts and they're not, and you're not experiencing anxiety, meaning a million thoughts are going back and forth in your mind at once to where you don't know, you know, what thoughts belong to you or not. But for me personally, like this is not a meditation video, so I'm not going to go into the details of that. But over time, with me becoming a witness of myself, it's like I start to witness my negative traits. And of course, in the beginning, you know, they would get past me. Like, I'll get to the point where I'm back to Groundhog Day, having the same experience over and over again, you know, like expecting something different, insanity. But after a while, becoming a witness, it's like, okay. I'm aware of my triggers. So I'm aware of what triggers these bad behaviors. So once I become aware of the triggers, you know, once the trigger happens, I can witness myself going down a certain direction. So it's like, say, for example, an addict and say the addict might be triggered by negative circumstances that happens in their life. Like maybe the breakup will trigger the substance abuse or the layoff will trigger the substance abuse or the weight gain might trigger the substance abuse. Like everything that brings a negative emotion will trigger that. So this is where, you know, I become aware of my triggers. I become aware that, okay, this is where I become aware of my triggers. I become aware that, okay, this thing will trigger me. That thing will trigger me. And I become aware of what happens when I get triggered. So after a while becoming a witness all the time, it's like, when I'm triggered, instead of falling into the negative routines that I've built up from being triggered, I don't go that route because I know that when I'm triggered, I need to, I need emotional support. So instead of getting emotional support from eating or drinking or whatever, I'll give my emotion, myself emotional support by watching these shows because they bring me back to childhood and they feel so good. So I'll get the support I need from here or there or whatever. But anyways, the point is the video is not about all that. But the point of the video is that yes, you do have free will. And your free will comes from your awareness. When a person lacks self awareness, they're pretty much like a zombie. And they're being controlled by sources outside of themselves. And they're being manipulated by sources outside of themselves, manifesting against their own will and don't even realize that they're manifesting against their own will. You know, when a person lacks self-awareness, this is where we eat certain foods and we don't even realize that the foods are making us sick and we just continue eating them and continue getting depressed. Don't even realize that the food is making us depressed. We just keep eating it. We can't stop eating it. You know, when we lack self-awareness, we watch certain movies or certain shows and they make us anxious and we don't even own the fact that they make us anxious. We just keep watching them. You know, so after a while, we keep mentally and physically consuming things that's lowering our vibration and eventually we become like puppets. You know, we become like puppets where outside sources are saying, go here, go there, do this, do that. And we don't even realize any of that stuff is happening because we're so dumbed down, numbed out from, you know, the things that we're consuming. So if you want to, so when it comes to astrology and numerology, astrology and numerology is just helping you to see like your, basically your internal programming you know, I have a video in the playlist that talks about how astrology works. In that video, I go deeper and I'll probably try to remember to drop the link of that video in the description box. But, you know, briefly explaining it to me, it's like everything carries a vibration, like numbers carry vibration based on our identification with them and what we expect them to do. And also the planets all carry vibrations. You know, it's just like the moon having a vibrational pull on the tides in the ocean. And depending on what's happening with the phases of the moon, it affects the crops and the, the growing process 
all because of the pulling process. So with us having all the planets within our natal charts, all the archetypes within ourselves, depending on where these planets are in our chart depends on how much of a, how strong of a gravitational pull they have over us. But we are more than just our physical bodies. We are energetic beings. It is our physical form that is being controlled, not our energetic sense. Because if we tap into our energetic side, we are just witnesses. Like if you were to sit down wherever you are, hold your wrist and observe yourself holding your wrist, you'll see that you are not your thinking self. There is just this witness inside of you. It's almost like what we see when we look into the eyes of animals. It's like there's just this thing witnessing, just peeping through the eyes of the animal. It's like there's this energy within us that's just witnessing, not the part of us that's thinking and plotting and worrying about simple things. You know, beneath it all, we're just energy. But yeah, you do have free will over this physical form. And the free will comes in with the awareness of the form and how it works and what it can do and all those different things. And that's why I say, you know, you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. If you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a pink heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.